Where you're at right now, it's important that you level up, that you upgrade your life, that you keep aiming and striving for more, that you keep increasing the effort that you're putting in right now, because you can do more. There is another level that you haven't quite reached yet. There is another level that you haven't quite reached yet. And when you're aiming that high, obstacles will be thrown at you. You're going to feel discouraged, even depressed at times. And it's okay to feel discouraged sometimes. Because when you're finding it difficult, that's when you're being put to the test. At this point, a lot of students give up. They walk away. And that's why those students don't continue to grow. Their grades don't improve because they don't want it badly enough. If they want to stay at home watching TV and ignoring their education, then that's up to them. But you're capable of more than that. So when you're about to give up and you feel like you can't continue anymore, one of two things will happen. And what will happen will determine which direction your entire life will go. You can do A, give up. Or B, when you've had enough, when you feel like you can't continue anymore, you take a quick break, maybe go for a walk, clear your mind, then come back to your desk and study some more. And that decision you make at the point where you're about to give up determines where you're going to be in 5, 10, 15 years time. Because the attitude that you have will either propel you to success or pull you down to the ground. If you really want it, it's yours to take. No one gives it to you or takes it away. It's yours if you want it. It's a marathon, not a sprint. There's no fast fix to achieving extraordinary grades. There will be days you'll be tired, even exhausted, but you continue regardless because you don't judge it on the daily. You judge it in the long frame. You keep your eyes on graduation. You know there's going to be ups and downs, but you know that it's all going to be worth it. You know that when you start getting results, it's going to be worth it. You'll look in the mirror and you'll say, yeah, I did this. You feel this overwhelming feeling that you're overworking the crowd. You're overworking everybody around you. You're studying more than them. You became something. You became somebody. And once you get there, that's when you know you've done enough. But don't talk about it. Practice what you preach and just do it. Just don't quit. You keep fighting. You keep fighting no matter what. Because trust me, on graduation day, you'll look back over the last few years and you'll realize it was worth it. When I was at university, my professor asked us, why do you want a 4.0 GPA? What do you want to accomplish? Why are you studying? And someone would get up and say, because if I work hard and I study well and do well in my exams and get some work experience, then maybe I can get a good job and provide for my family and become what I've been put on this planet to become. My professor said, sit down, because if you think with such uncertainty, if you say the word maybe, then you're never gonna make it. You have to get up and be absolutely convinced you're going to become a success. Your path to success starts right now with your daily studying. You have to do whatever it takes. However many hours of studying it takes, reading textbooks until late at night, going to see your professor if you have questions, attending every class, arriving at the library at 6 a.m. while everyone else is still sleeping. Whatever it takes, you need to do it. That's the answer I want to hear from you. I can see straight away those students that are a bit wobbly and struggling with motivation, and those that have a deep sense of hunger within them that is driving them to put in 100% effort every day. Those that have a short-term and long-term goal that they're chasing every day. I can see it in their eyes. I can see it in their actions. I can see it in what they do. Their passion. Their drive. Their relentlessness. They just go on and on and on. They study when they're tired. They study when they're bored. They study when their body keeps telling them to procrastinate. But they manage to push out one or two hours more studying. And it's this extra bit of studying that differentiates these top students from the rest of the class.
step forward. Do not wait. Go to your desk and study. And make every day, every minute, every second, make it all count. Every decision you make should help you become one step closer to the person you want to be. You can become the exact person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Instead of letting your goals and your studying slide out from beneath you, instead of letting go of all the things you've worked hard for so far in your life, use the discipline within you to make it happen. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and make it happen. It is within you. You just gotta find it. So when your alarm clock goes off, you have a decision to make. And it takes discipline to do this, to really commit to having a productive day, to get up and to make every single minute of your day count. And you have to do this every day. You won't get anywhere without consistency. Even if your friends are phoning you to go out, you decline and you study. Even if it's raining outside and you don't want to walk to the library, you put your raincoat on and you walk to the library. You are going to do this.